might have guessed, I'm not down at Old Allens. Um, I'm in temperate rainforest in New Zealand. Uh, so, something a bit different. I'm just on a little trek right now uh, up here. There's some old tunnels. If I stop just a second, listen to this. Amazing. Amazing sounds. Amazing place to be. I'm just taking a, a short walk, a one hour twenty walk, uh, up to some old tunnels. Gotta go check them out. Might need to wade through a bit of water. So I thought I'd bring you along. I've been in a town it's called Franz Joseph, which is uh, Franz Joseph Glacier on the west coast of the South Island. New Zealand. Uh, I've been waiting all day for the cloud to lift. Uh, I went quad biking this morning. Maybe I'll show you some pictures of that. I might do some highlight pictures of the holiday. Three, two, one, go! And a video clip of me doing something perfectly safe but completely stupid at the same time. Go! This is actually my honeymoon, but uh, Mrs. Knight is having a rest in the camper van. We've been travelling around South Island in a camper, and she's having a rest back there. And I'm getting out, get some exercise, stretch my legs. This is what trail signs look like, obviously in New Zealand. They don't have the same right away and footpath uh, options that we have. Um, I was talking to a guide earlier today and basically they said, you know, you, they, were, they were blown away by the fact that you can just walk across farmlands, obviously on footpaths and things. They don't have that system here. You have official trails and that's it. Off the official trail you're, you're sort of fair game for a farmer. Uh, so. Uh, completely different system. This little tree fern here, that's waist height. In the UK, that'd be about 200 pounds. Here, they are proper trees. Another one. They're just amazing. Right now, I'm on the west coast of the island, about halfway up the South Island on the west coast. Um, and it's proper mosquitoes, sand flies, lots of things that want to bite you. But this is proper temperate rainforest. Um, they get a really high rainfall every year. Uh, actually, we've been lucky. We've had rain every day, but uh, not masses of it, but obviously be prepared, all that, in my backpack. I've got my waterproofs. Uh, I'm also walking in my Crocs uh, in case we get to flooded tunnels. Obviously, just whip the socks off and I can unzip the bottom of these trousers. I'm covered in bug spray, so we're good. One other thing to bear in mind mobile coverage in New Zealand is terrible. If you're outside of town, you won't get a signal. So it's a great place to be prepared and if you are going to go for a walk over here make sure you tell someone where you're going which travel you're going to be on and what time you expect to be back i've left those details with bridget so she knows how to get hold of the local fire brigade or police should i not make it back but 
to be honest this is a pretty touristy trail so we should be fine if I did encounter any problems someone would raise the alarm so I can hear some pretty pretty wild water one thing in New Zealand especially this side you're never far from water uh, that might be a little gentle bubbling creek or it could be a wild raging torrent uh, I have a, quite a strong fear of water but um, I managed to go on a white water rafting trip which was great uh, terrified me, absolutely terrified me that we had um, started off what I thought was grade one which was sort of flat water uh, grade one two I thought you know that was actually flat water they didn't bother registering that then we got on to grade three uh, and then we did two sections of grade five you know, I was absolutely terrified but the adrenaline was incredible so I'm really really glad I did that um, it's gonna make Simmons yet look a bit tame when I get home Okay, now I'm scared. <laughs> uh, water and confined spaces. I'm not much of a man, am I? Not much of a man, but yeah, wow, there's, there's an admission for you. Low headroom. I can see running water in there. Let's do this. Socks in the bag. My trusty ancient low alpine bag. Oh Christ, that water's coming. Mind you, all the water in New Zealand is cold. Bloody hell. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. I'm glad I'm going to have the socks. Put back on. Tripping off the roof. No idea how long this tunnel is. Got 
can't see daylight yet. Yeah. I can see 
see waterfalls coming down. Obviously, you can hear it. There's a lot of water down there. Sun's going away. way I came. I think I'll be a bit quicker going through this time. Scary tunnels. Crocs. They may not be fashionable anymore, but by God are they handy. <laughs> <laughs> 